Hi everyone, Fus Mahmoud Shah with you. Uh, today our subject is um, it's about um, concentrated solar tower for steam ranking cycle by the use of uh, molten salt as our main working fluid. Uh, after you download your model, you have to go for uh, copy your model. Don't run it from your uh, desktop. Just copy it and um, to working folder. This is my uh, working folder, so I. I have to go to my working folder and choose my model okay and you can click here and um, sort by name and group by type it will become easy for you in order to handle your your uh, model okay and double clicking your model okay uh, what we have here uh, is um, uh, concentrated solar tower by the use of central receiver, helium states, and molten salt. This is um, just a demo photo about your cycle. You can use oil, you can use water steam, you can use uh, molten salt. But in, in, uh, in this model, our model is, um, is about molten salt. So I have to add here molten uh, salt. Okay, in order not to forget. Okay, this is uh, molten salt. Uh, the, the model uh, consists of um, central receiver, cool, uh, uh, concentrated solar tower, boiler heat exchanger with um, a bump, pumping unit or pumping system inside it. And we have this cycle is for molten salt, and we have here steam ranking cycle. It's boiler heat exchanger, uh, turbine unit, was attached to the generator unit and we have a two surface um, uh, condenser and two buses uh, surface condenser and we have cooling towers surely uh, with this and this cycle is um, uh, is for water and this is for uh, 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 molten salt okay let's go inside and see uh, okay this is uh, our main cycle uh, as you can see here, a concentrated solar tower with central receiver, boiler heat exchanger with bomb inside, and we, you, this is a molten salt cycle, and this is our uh, steam racket cycle, this is water. So we have turbine, condenser, bump, and a uh, cooling tower. Okay, uh, you have to assign your inputs. You have to uh, um, click on uh, simulation time or and assign it to zero. Go to your model explorer and go inside your model. And each model you have to uh, add it its values to workspace. Click on uh, save final value workspace. Cost of tower, uh, efficiency mirrors save all values to workspace in order to uh, find it easy to handle and to deal with you will find all your results are stored here so you can uh, deal with I, I will show you okay another thing you can go inside any model this is for example uh, a concentrated solar tower and by double clicking on uh, any model a block you'll find uh, your function of outputs based on this is function name and this is these are your inputs so you can uh, deal with you can this is your code you can deal with you can uh, copy you can uh, reform uh, whatever you would like okay but before running our model you have to assign some uh, inputs let's go for um, double clicking your uh, uh, mother block you will find your uh, parameters okay we have physical properties uh, or operating conditions and we have uh, design uh, parameters for design I suppose I need uh, just 10 megawatts one uh, uh, 10 megawatts or 10,000 kilowatts okay hit apply and for uh, physical properties let's go for solar radiation you can deal with solar radiation as a specific value or dynamic value suppose it's 500 and collector output temperature or outlet temperature it's uh, for molten salt I do recommend 550 
600 something like this suppose it's 500 degrees Celsius and uh, your dry saturated temperature as a stage a bridge stage before turbine units suppose it's uh, 300 degrees Celsius and uh, for condenser pressure let's go for uh, 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.3 uh, bars as a, as a pressure okay and this is our main input so hit ok or let's go inside you have also to do the, um, some changes in your uh, uh, model you have to uh, double clicking on each block and assign some inputs for uh, molten salt heat transfer fluid you have to adjust your operating hours what is your generation of mirror you have five generations suppose i will go for the fourth generation and the cost around the uh, fourth generation is around uh, 200 us dollar per uh, per square meter absorber cavity temperature it's around uh, for 400 450 500 no more than this okay let's hit apply for polarity exchanger you can adjust um, design aspects what is your diameter uh, tubes diameter or for physical properties what is your superheat temperature um, which is supposed to go directly to the to turbine unit turbine unit so you suppose it's uh, uh, 400 okay uh, this is 400 because is because this is your dry saturated temperature is 300 so put in your mind um, uh, the connection between the dry saturated temperature and uh, the superheat temperature okay and performance surely there is a bump inside so its efficiency is around 75 and effectiveness is around 80 percent okay Let's go for a turbine unit, operating hours, and just uh, generator efficiency and uh, tur turbine efficiency. Two buses surface condenser, we have to adjust uh, some design aspects and effectiveness around 80%. For bumping unit, we need to adjust efficiency of the pump, mechanical efficiency. For cooling towers, it's, um, it's another matter. Uh, what is your air temperature? What is your uh, uh, cooling cooling load? Turn number hour. So I I will go for uh, the maximum because I, I am uh, I, my I inten my intention is to run my model based on high uh, rate of expectations for uh, cooling tower effectiveness. It's around. It's between 0.4 up to 0.6, something like this. Suppose it's uh, 0.4, and we, you you can change this and see your effect your based on your design and so on. Cost analysis: we just need uh, interest rate and plant lifetime. Suppose it's 25 years, okay, and uh, interest rate 5 percent, quite normal. Okay, so we prepared everything. Uh, our model is ready to run let's go and hit here be sure to go to your model browser and check all of these okay okay that's it uh, hit run and see our results based on uh, 10 megawatts of power okay and okay it had finished so let's go and emphasize and see this is your 10 megawatts you already assigned and this is total load on uh, turbine unit because you have we have here bumping through the polyhead exchanger and we have the main st uh, steam rocket cycle bump so this is if you calculated your um, uh, uh, the summing of all loads and there is a fan inside the cooling tower so you will find your results around uh, 10 megawatts 10 megawatts plus 280 or or 300 kilowatts as an extra load on your uh. okay let's go inside 
you want to buy it and see our results. So what is coming for uh, concentrated, concentrated solar tower? Your mass flow rate is around 70 uh, kilogram per second. Uh, LED temperature around 175. This is uh, relatively low because you have to increase the LED temperature to the concentrated solar tower uh, because it's a molten salt. You have to keep watch on this not uh, not to go below 150 120 degrees Celsius and this is a uh, inlet uh, enthalpy okay this is your capital direct capital cost and let's go here pressure of molten salt and salby outlet this is thermal power this is quite interesting uh, parameter thermal power exchange destruction and um, efficiency, ex ex total exergy in, uh, thermal um, exergy and outlet, and this is hourly cost, quite interesting. Field efficiency, thermal losses, convection losses, radiation losses, and so on. Okay, based on uh, thermal power through the solar uh, tower, you can calculate uh, transportation cost, absorber area, uh, absorber costs, uh, total land area, mirror costs, total uh, reflectors area or mirrors, helio states, uh, number of helio states, tower height is around 70 meters, and uh, tower costs, uh, field diameter, uh, what is your field diameter, what is your distance behind the field, distance um, uh, front of the field, of the tower, okay. Uh, distance front of the tower, cavity height, cavity diameter, what is your tower base diameter, okay? So all of this design data, and as you can see here, this is, uh, I'm using the fifth generation of mirrors, so. For volatility exchanger, it's quite hard, uh, so you can double click on it, and you can use the code, as you can see, it's quite complicated, okay. You can calculate the mass, the volume, total volume, uh, uh, storage height, it's around 70, 7 meters, uh, level through the, uh, in the tank, pressure and um, bumping power, 8 kilowatts through uh, inside the tank, thermal load, and from this thermal load you can calculate the storage cost as a direct capital cost. And um, in salby of the molten salt out, in salby of temperature out of the molten salt. Uh, these two parameters is uh, transferred, or you can consider these inputs, uh, as you can see here, to the concentrated solar tower. As you can see here, these are inputs. So we have to calculate it uh, through the boil heat exchanger firstly, and you have to. Um, um, drive a signal, this signal outlet to the boiler, to the concentrated solar tower, entropy, pressure, this is, okay, uh, this is vapor, uh, this is steam vapor, uh, in Salby, goes to the turbine unit, outlet entropy, vapor of the vapor, outlet uh, pressure of the vapor, and uh, mass flow rate through the collector field, area of the boiler heat exchanger tubes, number of tubes, lens, reversibility, hourly costs, and these are your inputs, as you can see here, inputs, and salby, and uh, this is temperature of molten salt, we assign this, and let uh, vapor and salby, and let, uh, temperature, this temperature is, is coming from the pump, okay, uh, and this is a, a outlet vapor temperature as a dry saturated temperature, okay, Let's go for turbine unit, and you'll find your results as an input. This is levelized uh, costs kilowatt uh, hour, US dollar per kilowatt hour, and so for turbine unit for 10 megawatts plus, you have to uh, use around 19 kilogram per second through the steam ranking cycle, and from concert for concentrated solar tower. Who are using 70 uh, kilogram per seconds, and we have in Salby outlet 
temperature outlet, dryness fraction, entropy outlet, hourly cost, inevitability, and so on. For uh, two surface condenser, what is our our results? You can discover uh, physical properties uh, in Salby entropy. This is cooling water. This is cooling water around 65 degrees Celsius. For the cooling load, you have to. You, the cooling tower is responsible to cool down this uh, temperature. Therefore, we need around uh, 500 uh, kilogram per second. Uh, number of tubes through the condenser, uh, total surface area, uh, condenser lens, uh, early cooling water temperature, it's around, uh, I'm sorry, this is a mass flow rate. Uh, cooling water is around uh, 49, so you can reduce this or control this by the use of effectiveness or uh, your specifications. Uh, bombing, this is bombing load around 200 plus uh, kilowatts. Outlet temperature, as you can see, outlet temperature here is the input for uh, boiler heat exchanger 71.9. You realize this, as you can see here, 70. 1.9 as an input for uh, the boiler heat exchanger. It's too complicated. And for uh, cooling tower, let's go for this is our load. Uh, this is our load. Okay. And uh, as you can see here, kilogram per second. We have here kilogram per second. So we are going to use two units of cooling tower. What is your diameter for one unit? tower diameter, tower height, pressure losses, uh, fan power, and uh, tower weight, outlet, this is outlet temperature, cooling, cooling water temperature, outlet from uh, uh, the cooling tower, wood bulb temperature, it's around 25, and um, we have outlet air temperature, because this is a mechanical draft, Cooling approach, cooling range, um, heat losses, gain, air mass flow rate, and so on. You will find many, many parameters. And uh, for hourly cost, this cost parameter, you will find total plant costs. Okay, this is your total plant hourly costs. So you can easily uh, calculate from this parameter the levelized electrical cost. Okay, this is at. Uh, uh, zero time domain let's go for infinity in order to you can type here infinity inf in order to run your model dynamically so uh, my intention is to going to the mother block for example and double clicking here and surely you can change the, uh, the range of uh, of your inputs by right click here on your model going to the mask edit mask and going to parameters and suppose you need to change the limit the minimum and maximum of your uh, uh, power load you can change it from here so you can control your limits uh, up and down based on your favorable limits okay double clicking here and let's go inside okay and uh, suppose i need to examine some changes on uh, the turbine unit Click on your turbine unit and let's keep watching our dryness fraction if we change some temperature or okay. So I will run the model and make some changes from here. Let's hit run and see after uh, saving. Hit run and see our, uh, our changes. Okay, this is our current, current uh, results based on this this current input so suppose I, I will reduce the condenser pressure let's reducing the condenser pressure I am reducing let's keep watching on dryness fraction if we reduced uh, uh, the condenser pressure okay okay reducing again and it will reduce the total mass flow rate so Okay, let's increase, um, let's increase uh, the temperature of the solar field outlet, 
up to uh, uh, 600 okay Uh, it's a little bit uh, slow you can use just click on the uh, on the cursor here and you don't use your mouse um, arrow just use your keyboard arrows uh, left to right or up and down so I'm moving to the right for increasing okay 500 and uh, and 50 okay 550 suppose i would like to decrease dry saturated temperature let's decrease dry saturated temperature okay i'm decreasing okay so there's an effect on um, dryness fraction and uh, mass flow rate and let's see okay hourly costs all of these parameters Okay, let's change um, the power. I will increase the power for 11 megawatts and see the results again, up and down again. Okay, let's hit OK and stop. It's just a demo about um, how to realize the changes in your uh, cycle. Before going, you have to, before running your model dynamically, you have to check this, all your signals here something like this and you have to click on stream signals or going here and stream selected signals to data inspector and be sure that you will able to see this is small uh, square in order to ensure that your signal um, has been sent to um, or have been sent to a data inspector let's go for data inspector and see our results it's a little bit complicated model and okay uh, these are your signals okay you can click on let's go here and okay let's see this is our main uh, main grid load and this is total loads as you can see here absorber area and direct capital costs you have to change the limit formatting is from zero up to here uh, suppose it's 300 in order to realize the change as you can see the change and this is for zero up to uh, uh, okay you can this is thermal lo losses radiation I have to I'm sorry I can let's go for for just one in order to see uh, because uh, the limitation is quite high uh, I will move this uh, let's go for for example uh, thermal for thermal power thermal this is thermal power okay but you have to uh, adjust your uh, ranges 1e5 1e5 okay so this is your change in your thermal power if you okay i will make a, a, a more dynamic effect more than this i will have to go here and change the power order to realize let's go for um, a concentrated solar tower here or uh, four turbine unit little bit turbine unit molten salt and you can compare runs Let's go for uh, 600. Oh, sorry. Okay, 600. And, uh, and I, I will change the power. Order to realize more. Uh, let's hit run and see. Let's hit change the power. Okay, these are our uh, results. I am increasing the power. Okay, increasing. Increasing again, 15 mega, 16 mega. Let's go up. Okay. Okay, and let's go for uh, 25 megawatts. 
okay and we will see uh, the impact on um, uh, mass flow rates and areas and so on cooling tower load bumping load all of this stuff okay okay let's go up 25 25 okay this is 25 mega let's go and uh, change let's increasing the pressure increasing the pressure would increase as the rise fraction suppose we need or oh it's it, it will lower the rise fraction okay as you can see here and lower the temperature okay and let's increase the uh, dry saturated temperature okay let's stop here and see our results so you can compare runs between uh, the old run and the current run you can compare okay suppose is this this is uh, this is the old run thermal power and this is the current run thermal power so you realize the change between uh, the two results let's inspect another absorber uh, temperature direct capital costs what is the thermal cost and drainage fraction what is our drainage fraction here i think yes this is your drainage fraction this is from formatting from uh, uh, 0 0.95 okay okay this is your drainage fraction decreasing and increasing hourly costs this is your turbine costs and this is power through the turbine and we have here bumping this is bumping hourly costs okay so you have uh, you can also send this results to a figure and you can deal with and so on it's a based on your uh, capabilities so okay for cooling tower as you can see for 25 mega let's go here for 25 mega uh, so all parameters have been increased as you can see here all parameters has been have been increased load temperature mass flow rate power cooling uh, bombing power increasing uh, and this is your cooling load so you can control this by um, the effectiveness of the cooling tower you can change the hourly cost total hourly cost uh, has increased okay returning back to zero and saving so finally I uh, I would like to thank you very much for your interested in our model uh, it's quite um, a good model you can uh, you can change your parameters you can change your inputs based on your design and you will realize the effect you can compare results you can compare uh, uh, your runs dynamically or at zero time domain okay uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share and uh, subscribe. Thank you.